under the algorithm category that is the dynamic programming we are going to discuss one example that is matrix chain multiplication it is a very famous example under this particular category see let a b and c be three matrices such that c is equal to a into b so a and b two matrices are to be multiplied so that the resultant matrix thus produced will be c let their dimensions are m into n n by p and m by p it is quite well known that in the first matrix the number of column must be same as the number of rows in the second matrix then only the matrix can get multiplied and the resultant matrix will have m number of rows and p number of columns from the definition that is c i j that means in the c matrix at the i th row j th column we shall be doing a i k into b i b k j that such uh, products will be obtained and they are going to get added where k is ranging from 1 to n so in this way the c i j will be formed will be calculated okay now in this particular matrix multiplication the complexity of this particular operation will depend upon the number of multiplications required so obviously there are some additions operations are there sigma and multiplication operations are there but obviously multiplication operations are more costly compared to that of the addition operations so number of multiplications required to perform such multiplication will uh, will uh, decide the respective complexity of this operation so the number of multiplications needed by this algorithm is m into n into p so that is the complexity so m into n into p will be the complexity for this particular matrix multiplication now let us go for chain matrix chain multiplication let us suppose we are having matrices like m1 m2 m3 dot 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 mr and they are getting multiplied so m1 into m2 into dot dot dot, dot into mr be a chain of matrix products this chain can be evaluated in several different sequences and ways as example we can go for this so m1 into m2 will be done at first with this result m3 will be multiplied with this particular result the m4 will be multi multiplied with this particular result in matrix the m5 will get multiplied in this way if we proceed then ultimately mr will get multiplied but this multiplication can be done in this way also at first we will be doing multiplication between mr and mr minus 1 and then the product will be multiplied with m r minus 2 in this way at last i shall multiply the product with this m2 and the resultant matrix will get multiplied with m1 so in this way the product matrix will get multiplied with the next matrix so in this way the matrix chain multiplication may take place but obviously these two sequences cannot have the same complexity because depending upon the sequences depending upon the uh, dimensions of the respective matrices taking participation in the multiplication the number of products required for doing this multiplication will also vary so different types of association of matrices for multiplication will also uh, incur different uh, values for the different expressions for the complexity so that will decide that will that will be totally dependent upon the sequence in which we are doing the multiplication let us go for one example i think that will be uh, easier for us to explain given matrices are m1 m2 m3 m4 i think you are getting the sizes 100 by 1 1 by 100 100 by 1 and 1 by 100 so there are mainly in five ways to compute m1 m2 m3 m4 multiplication so m1 into m2 into m3 into m4 so they are suggesting that there are five different ways in which you can do this multiplications for five different computational complexities we can do this multiplication in multiple different ways but there are mainly five different ways in which if we go for multiplication then we will be having different five values for the complexity expression the optimal way to have a cost of 10,200 so the optimal way of costing will be 10,200 number of multiplications least cost will be 201 see the variation it is 10,200 and it is 201 
and the worst cost will be 10 lakhs 20,000. So depending upon the sequence, the minimum cost will be 201, that means 201 number of multiplications will be required for this chain multiplication and the maximum cost will be 10 lakhs 20,000 if we change the respective sequence. So let us suppose I am telling you one, one example, say I am going for say M1 into M2. So M1 into M2 into and the other product will be M3 into M4. So this is the matrix will be coming as a after doing the multiplication, this matrix will be coming after getting the multiplication and now they will get multiplied. Okay. So now that is the way. Let me check, yes it is 1, it is 1, so they can get multiplied and it is 1, it is 1, yes they can get multiplied. So now if I write the respective dimensions, you see, so now see, so when I am doing the multiplication between M1 and M2, the resultant matrix let it be called as M12 with this particular dimension 100 and 100 and here it will be M34 with the dimension 100 and 100. So now when I am trying to multiply these two matrices and this figure is same as this, number of columns is same as this number of rows, so they can get multiplied. So M1234 will have the resultant matrix like this, resultant matrix like this and in this case the number of products if we, if we go on calculation that is the number of multiplications required, here it will be 100 into 1 into 100 because we are having this one MNP and here it is 100 into 1 into 100. So 100 into 1 into 100 2 times and here we require 100 into 100 into 100 number of multiplications. Now if you go on doing, I am getting the worst case value that is 10 lakhs 20,000. 20, so this is the way in which we can do the multiplications. Okay. Now see, if I draw the respective binary tree against this particular multiplication, it will be look like this. So it will look like this if I draw the respective binary tree for this multiplication. So now in this, in this way M1 and M2 are getting multiplied to get the resultant matrix M12, M3 and M4 are getting multiplied to get the resultant matrix M34 and then M12 and M34 are getting multiplied to get the resultant matrix as M1234 in this way I can draw. So see in this way I can suggest 5 different number of ways to do the multiplication so that the minimum multiplication required will be 201 optimal number will be 10 lakh 20 thousand and uh, there is a worst case 10 lakh 20 thousand and optimal number of will be 10,200. So I shall be showing that one. But this is the graph which is showing that it is becoming a binary tree. So we know that the number of different binary trees with n nodes will be this. So this number of binary trees can be formed with n number of nodes. So now the thing is that we should not consider that we will be having this number of binary trees here because in some cases we might be having two different sequences but after doing multiplication actually we are getting the same result. If I am not clear let me write what I am trying to say. Let us suppose we are having sequence like see these two sequences S1 and S2. We are having we are multiplying M1, M2 at first, we are getting M12 and then we are multiplying M3, M4 and we are getting M34, then we are multiplying M12 and M34. But there is another sequence is that we are doing the multiplication between M3, M4 at first, then M1, M2 next, then we are going for M12 into M34. So if you consider the result, obviously you will be getting the same result. Whether I am doing this multiplication at first or I am doing this multiplication next, so that is M material. So we know that for n number of nodes we can have this number of binary trees but if you want to form such binary trees regarding the sequence of the multiplications in some cases the sequence may be different but we are going to reach to the same result. So in the next video we shall show you that what are the 5 different ways in which we can do this multiplication and can get the complexities in 5 different figures. Please watch the next video, that video will be in the continuation of this one and thanks for watching this one.